Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and in this episode of C++ Data Structures, we're going to be taking a look at another graph algorithm, which is depth first searched. So uh, last time we looked at breadth first search, where you know we started out at a single starting node, and we explored all uh, the nodes in the adjacency list before moving on to those next nodes until we've explored the entire graph. Now in depth first search, we won't explore all nodes within the adjacency list of a single node. What we'll do is we'll continue on, uh, you know, the deepest path for uh, a single node before backtracking. All right, so let's see what that's going to look like. So let's go ahead and open up dfs.cpp. And so we'll have a couple of the same things from BFS. So we'll be using lists again, and we'll have the same graph class. The only difference is we'll have a helper function now because uh, for our DFS implementation, this is actually going to be recursive, where we'll pass in, you know, whatever node we're going to start our next iteration of DFS, uh, and then also we'll pass in our array of visited nodes. Okay, so uh, over here in our actual DFS implementation, right, so we'll start out, we'll give a starting position when we first call DFS, we'll mark everything as not visited right here, right, so we'll create this array with as many um, vertices as we've got initialized in our graph, we'll mark them all as not visited, so visited is equal to false, and then we'll start calling DFS helper, which is our recursive call, right? And here we'll pass our starting node. Now what the uh, DFS helper function will do is it will visit the node that we just passed in. So being S at this point, which will be the index of the node, we'll mark it as true. And then we'll go through the adjacency list of that node. But instead of going through every single, uh, visiting every single node in that adjacency list, what we'll end up doing is we'll go to that next vertex right, that's in that adjacency list. So we'll call DFS helper on, you know, whatever the first, you know, uh, vertex in the adjacency list is going to be, right? And then this we'll call DFS helper again. So we'll start here, and then we'll start going through the adjacency list of the next uh, vertex. So let's see what that looks, uh, what that looks like with a simple graph with six different nodes. And so we can go ahead and draw this out. All right, just like we did with BFS. So it starts out, right, so we'll have a node zero, here, right, so this will be our node zero, and this will be connected to two other nodes, right? So node one, and then we'll have node two. Now, uh, node two is connected to node, uh, let's see, so this is connected to zero and also connected to four, right? So, or let's start with one rather. So one's connected to zero, one's connected to three, so we'll put three here, and then one's also uh, connected to four, which we'll just put here. Right, so we'll kind of make this connection. Now three is connected to one, four, and five. So three is connected to one, which we've already got that line drawn, connected to four. And then we'll go ahead and add five here. Right, and we'll call this five. And then five will be connected to three and four. And then four will be connected to one, two, three, and five. So we need this connection now. So one, two, uh, three, and five. Or sorry. Um, this actually will go to four is connected to uh, one, two, three, and five, right? So that's all of our connections. Now with depth first search, like I said, we're going to basically start out uh, at vertex zero, right? So this is going to be our start. And then the next thing we do is we'll start traveling. Uh, we'll look at the adjacency list for here. So we'll mark zero as visited. And then we'll go to, in this case, the first node in the adjacency list is going to be one. And so we'll travel here, right? And then we'll call that util function, or we'll call that uh, helper function right here. We'll call helper on one, and then we'll look at uh, the adjacency list for one, right? And so when we look at uh, the adjacency list for one, we'll see it's connected to three, four, and five. So then we'll call it on the first item in the adjacency list. So we'll call the helper function again, right? And then we'll look at this. It'll be connected to three and four, Right, and then we'll call, uh, or one, three, and four. So we've already visited one, so we won't actually go there. Uh, but then four will be the next one, so we'll call the helper function here, right? And then eventually we'll end up calling, you know, the adjacency list for four. We'll look at the first node, which is connected to is one. So we'll we don't need to look at that one since it's already will be marked as visited up here at this helper function call. Um, then we'll look at two, and so we'll end up here, calling this helper function, right? And at this point, we'll be at two 
Two will look at zero and four, and this is where we get the backtracking part. So two will look at its adjacency list and it'll see it's connected to zero and it's connected to four. Both those has been visited. So that call will return. Then uh, four will go ahead and look at, you know, uh, what nodes do I still have to look at? So I looked at one that was visited. I looked at two, that's the call that just returned. And then uh, three is already visited, so I don't need to look at that. And then it will look at five, right? And so then the helper function will end up calling here, right? So how does this differ from BFS? Now with BFS, we explore the adjacency list for every vertex, uh, or we, we explored every vertex connected to zero before we started looking at the adjacency list of other nodes. In DFS, we find, uh, we continue on a path, you know, through this graph without certain or without looking at every single node within each of our Texas uh, adjacency list. What we end up doing is we go as far as we can and then we backtrack and then continue on another path. So let's see how this works uh, going, ahead, going ahead and printing this out. All right, so let's go ahead and start out with DFS and we can start at zero. All right, so let's go ahead and compile this. So we'll do G++ and we'll set the standard equal to C++11 because we're using some C++11 features like auto types um, and then DFS and then our output, we'll just call the output DFS. All right, we can zoom in a little bit as well. So let's go ahead and run it. So what we see is we start out by calling node zero and then we go to vertex one from node zero, right? So that's where we're going here. So that's the call to start, we go to zero and then we call that helper function again. So this recursive call to one, then one ends up going to three, right? As we see here, so going to three from vertex one, uh, and then it says going to vertex four, right? Uh, from vertex three, right? So we're here, we look at the adjacency list, we've already visited one, and then we check the next one in the adjacency list, which is four, so we go to four, and then from vertex four, we go through, we see we've gone to one in the adjacency list, we've been at three that's also in the adjacency list, um, and then two here is next in the adjacency list, rather, or rather it goes one, then two. So it goes, uh, we go to vertex two from vertex four, right? And then from vertex two, it returns, right? From this, uh, you can think of it as a call stack, right? So for these recursive calls, right? So uh, the recursive call to two, right? To the helper function calling two will return, uh, which will transfer control back to the call to uh, vertex four. And then vertex four will continue and it will say, okay, I've already visited three. And then from vertex four, I'll visit vertex five, which we see down here, right? And then from vertex five, this will, will call uh, the helper function on vertex five, but everything's been seen at this point. So it will return, then four will return, then three will return, then one will return before zero returns and we've completed execution. But we get this, you know, zero, one, three, four, two, five that we kind of went over here visually. And again, the big difference here is that we're not visiting every node in the adjacency list um, at each step uh, or each call um, like we did in BFS and DFS. We figure out kind of this longest path that we can go down calling from nodes before we have to backtrack and find a different path through a different set of nodes. But that's going to do it for this episode. As always, feel free to check out all this code at github.com slash coffee before arch. So if we look at all the different repositories, we've got stuff on CUDA programming, practical parallelism in C++, so that's parallel programming. Uh, and then of course, we've got C++ data structures right here as well. So that's where all of this is going to be kept. And we've got stuff, we've got the code that we looked at yesterday for BFS, um, as well as all the sorting algorithms as well, right? So we looked at algorithms, graph algorithms, and we looked at uh, DFS today. So feel free to download this, play around with it, let me know if you have any questions and you know in later episodes we'll explore other things like um you know maybe dijkstra's algorithm or you know path planning algorithms or things like page rank but that's going to do it for today i'm nick and i hope you have a nice day